One other virus is already filling up hospitals this fall. Caroline Peters in studio with more on why parents should be aware of the recent uptick in RSV cases. Caroline? The state health department says so far this month, 98 people have been hospitalized with RSV. Compare that to only eight hospitalizations from the flu. For over two years, masking up and social distancing kept many viruses at bay. But now viruses seem to be coming back in full swing, according to El Paso County health officials. We still have to think about the possibility of COVID. We're worried about RSV or their enterovirus, particularly if it's in the pediatric age group. Um, and now we're going to be needing to consider flu. Teresa Henning knows the struggle of being a mother, trying to keep her kids healthy. They left daycare today for RSV. Um, and the flu going around, so I had to leave work early to walk to go pick them up. Being a parent is a full-time job, and having sick children, well, that's another challenge. It gets difficult since I'm the one doing it by myself, so I get no sick days. Um, but I do everything I can to make sure my kids are taken care of when they're sick. They have Tylenol, ibuprofen, cough syrup. County health officials warn that flu and cold season is only starting. So it's best to stay home if you feel sick. It's possible that when you have these infections and you're having symptoms and you're coughing, that you can uh, pretty easily spread any of them, any of these viruses to someone else. According to the Colorado Department of Public Health and Environment, eight of the state's RSV outbreaks took place in schools and childcare facilities. But that could change as we get into the winter season. During the course of a winter season, that may fluctuate, right? Like a little RSV here, a little flu here, and then they flip flop. And so that's not necessarily unusual um, uh, to have one predominant and then the other. Um, but just things have started a little bit earlier, perhaps, than, than would be typical um, this year. And we haven't even had influenza kick in yet. The CDC says RSV can be dangerous for some infants and young children. Early symptoms include a runny nose, decrease in appetite, and a cough, which may progress to wheezing. The CDC says you should call your doctor right away if your child is having difficulty breathing, not drinking enough fluids, or experiencing worsening symptoms. Rob.